Yo, what's up guys? It's your man Foryam again, back with a new quick video for V Rising. In today's guide, we're gonna talk about Scourge Stone, a precious material which you're gonna need plenty of in the end game to craft your holy resistance potions, upgrade your weapons and armor, craft new necklaces, etc. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the most efficient ways to get your hands on these bad boys as quick as possible. I'm gonna show you high value targets which always drop these as well as a secret location. And to pretty much have an unlimited supply of Scourge Stone, I'm gonna show you another way to get your hands on them even faster. So let's get right to it. Alright, so first off, what you should always be doing when you're either at your base or out there farming for resources, hunting for V-Blot is have your furnaces up and running 24-7 with whetstone, glass and grave dust. These three combined will turn into scourge stone and it takes a pretty long time to process these but you're gonna need plenty of them for your endgame gear, holy potions, so make sure to have this one up and running 24-7. I have a video in the top right of the screen which shows you how to get whetstone and grave dust fairly quickly, but let's move on to glass right now. I'm gonna show you a way how to get your hands on this very fast. So for glass, you basically wanna search for quartz quarries and there are three interesting ones in the Dunley farmlands. The first one is the Dunley Monastery. Right here, you will find plenty of these white notes of quartz, which you should break with your mace to get your hands on a lot of these resources. Of course, you also have a chance to find glass when defeating enemies, breaking items, as well as opening chests. Then we also have the Mosswick village right here, as well as the Dombreak village to the right. All three villages are fantastic to get your hands on tons and tons of quartz. Also, make sure to bring a worker buff to farm for these even more efficiently. In my base, I have a prisoner with 100% worker blood and every time when I go out there to farm for resources, I drink its blood to make the farm even more efficient. So now that you have the right resources in your base and are processing the Scourge Stone in the background, you can farm for even more of them in high value areas. The first two areas at the Dunley farmlands are the Haunted Iron Mine as well as the Church of the Damned, as right here you have a chance of encountering a Undead Commander which always drops one or more Scourge Stones when you defeat it. Other Undead units can also drop Scourge Stone and it can sometimes even be found in chests, but there are more locations where you can get your hands on these bad boys, for example in the Cursed Forest itself, Right here you have the ancient village, west and east, and both of them also have undead creatures which drop Scourge Stone when they die. Anyways, I also have a very easy secret location for you. Basically, what you want to do is enter the Dunley Monastery north of the Mosswick village, because right here you can always find Scourge Stone inside chests. Well, they aren't exactly chests, but if you're already here for the quartz and the glass, basically what you want to do is search for the graves. There are three in total in this area, so basically if you walk up the stairs, both on the left side and the right side, you will find these graves and basically if you open them, you will find bones, grave dust, but also scourge stone inside and if you are a little bit lucky, you will find even more than one per grave. It will literally take you 30 seconds to loot all three graves so you don't have to worry about the holy damage. Of course, if you have a holy resistance potion, this is going to be even easier. But basically, in 30 seconds, 3 to 5 Scourge Stone, I think that's a fantastic quick farm. While we were away, we made over 20 Scourge Stone in the base, so right now we can make even more of these Dark Iron Igids. But now that we're here, I'm also going to show you a very efficient way to get your hands on pretty much any type of resource, including the Scourge Stone. And guys, seriously, don't underestimate this way because it's without doubt the most interesting one if you want to focus on other things in the game or even when you're not there to play. So basically, I'm sending out my servants to go on missions to the Dunley Monastery, to the Church of the Damned right here, as well as uh, the ancient villages left and right. But basically, if you go to areas where you also have a chance to find the Scourge Stone, they will return with plenty of this loot. And of course, if you're also using your furnace 24-7 to process even more Scourge Stones in the background, you should also send your spare merchants to different areas like the Dunley Monastery for even more quartz and glass, or for example, the Forgotten Cemetery to get even more grave dust, because basically turning all these resources into Scourge Stone will become even easier. Using this method in the background basically provided me with all the resources I will ever need for all the Scourge Stone, for crafting new potions and upgrading my gear. So that, my friends, is pretty much it. Oh, you can get your hands on them as fast and efficiently in different ways, so there you have it. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that like button. Helps out the channel. Already very much appreciated. 
If you have a great tip for the community to get your hands on even more Scourge Stone, definitely let us know in the comments down below. Would be awesome to hear it. And of course, if you have any questions about the game, video suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as well. Right now though, it is 4am out. I want to thank you for staying till the end. Thanks for watching. I want to wish you an awesome day. Till next time. Peace.